So joining me now in studio is Paul Camerata, senior producer uh, at NFL Films, originally a Gilderland guy as well, huh, Paul? Yeah, I'm uh, from right around the corner here, LeVac, so it's a thrill to be back in town. Nice. Now, you see, you just call me LeVac. I you, miss him. You miss LeVac? Oh. He's a local guy. See, that's the problem. He is. That's true. He's the local dude. All right, so you went to CBA, right, Paul? Yes. Nice, I, man. How, how do you get from, from CBA to NFL Films? That's pretty sweet. I had the privilege of uh, attending Notre Dame and coming out of there. Wow. All I wanted to do was write. And uh, fortunately, NFL Films was looking for uh, new producers that year. And with some writing I'd done there uh, covering the football team, I had a little bit of a resume enough that uh, I was able to get my foot in the door. And 13 years later, I'm still having the chance to go around, tell great football stories, meet players, meet coaches, meet families, friends of the game, and um, really learn about the game and, and uh, help tell people about stories that, that uh, maybe they haven't heard before. Paul Camerata joining us in studio, senior producer at NFL Films. And, Paul, you're actually in town seeing the family, but you're here for work, man. You're working on a short film called NFL Film Presents is the series. What are you working on here in Albany? I'm telling the story this, uh, this season of a guy named Charlie Lee. He was an Albany High School graduate 50 years ago exactly. He came out of Albany High and probably – is the greatest football player to come out of this area in history. No way. Uh, yeah, I think older people probably know who he is. Some younger people won't. He, uh, he has a few um, noteworthy things he accomplished. Coming out of high school, he signed an NFL contract. He's one of only three players in history who have recognized to have signed an NFL contract right out of high school. Can't happen anymore. Obviously, the rules have changed. You've got to be out of, high, out of your high school uh, graduation class three years. Made history that way. Six years later, he's on the 72 Dolphins, the perfect team. Seven years later, excuse me. But he actually... Six years later, he made the Dolphins. He played on the Super Bowl. Uh, the, the Dolphins have made the Super Bowl three years in a row, 71 to 73, won two rings with them, was probably their best special teams player. Uh, but he sort of lost to history outside this area. So we're using the platform of NFL Films Presents to tell that story, uh, help celebrate him, and, and in honor of the 50th anniversary of the Super Bowl and his 50th year coming out of Albany High. Uh, there's a lot of anniversary tie-ins that we're using to uh, – as a hook to uh, tell Charlie's story nationwide. That's cool, and it's a big day for Albany High. They just broke ground on their new stadium today as well. We were down there. We were shooting with some players uh, with them and, and with the gold football here that, that is going around as part of the high school honor roll program in their trophy case. They're going to be getting that uh, in Charlie's name to be honored. And also, yeah, uh, just after we finished our shoot, we, we looked out the window, and there they were breaking ground on their new field. I think their first ever opportunity to play varsity football in the footprint of their own stadium, no longer uh, – and a, at a city uh, park anymore, and uh, it was a huge day for them, and we were just fortunate and lucky to be a part of it. That's cool, man. Now, okay, Charlie Lee, Albany High, does any of this have to do with your bias to the area? How, how do you say, oh, I'm going to go find this guy in Albany, or is it because your 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 roots here that led you here? I had heard this story growing up from just my family members who, who played football in the area in high school and college, and uh, Charlie Lee, a local guy, played for the 72 Dolphins. That's pretty cool. This year, actually, uh, when Joe Volano, another local guy, yeah. was winning a Super Bowl ring You're with the CBA Patriots. CBA boy, too. That's right. Yeah. I, I, it kind of got me thinking. I said, i got to look up this Charlie Lee guy. Again, it's sort of my, my uh, job now. I'm supposed to find these football stories. I said, well, here's one I've known about. I never really dug back into. I started reading about it, and there was even more to it than I thought. And I said, well, uh, i got to go get it. i got to go back up to Albany, shoot what we need to get, get the old Dolphins we need. We already got Don Shula. We're getting to Paul Warfield out in Ohio next week. Um, Got the fa Charlie's family down in Georgia. They're living down there now. So we've been kind of crisscrossing the country to get it. Got a ton of great stuff these last couple of days, and we're real thrilled to be putting it together this fall. That's awesome. Paul Camerata in studio, senior producer at NFL Films from right here in the Albany area from Gilderland. He went to CBA. He is here in the area working on a short film, NFL Film Presents, on Charlie Lee, who is here from Albany High. And are you cool sticking around? And in 10 minutes, you are also a part of the crew. You're the senior editor for Hard Knocks, and you're working on storylines right now. Absolutely. Yep. I, I want some storylines. You guys are already digging and working on this. What can we expect from Hard Knocks, and what's the, the storylines of the Houston Texans to be looking at? Can you stick around another 10 minutes? Love to do it. We'll get that from Paul Camerata, Armin in the back, 104.5, the team. Honored this evening to have Paul Camerata in studio. He is the senior producer at NFL Films from the Gilderland area. He's been at NFL Films for 13 years now. And, and Paul, you're in town. You're doing a uh, NFL Film Presents, a short film on Charlie Lee, who's from the Albany area, uh, played 
50 years ago in the NFL, part of the Dolphins' undefeated season. So I figured, hey, while you're in the area, you got to stop by in the studio because you're a fascinating guy. You're so lucky. You work on so many cool projects. Um, a big part of what you do is a football life in that series, correct? Correct. So my first question for you is, are you chomping at the bit to do a football life on JPP in this firework incident or what? JPP story, I think the people know it. It's incredible. You remember the backflip footage when he was coming out of South Florida uh, the story of his father, who I believe is blind, and when he came to see him in the, playing the Super Bowls, he had a translator sitting next to him, basically transcribing the action as it was happening on the field because uh, he couldn't see couldn't see his son playing the game, and he had uh, someone speaking. I think it was French Creole. They're of Haitian descent. That family <laughs> already a, already a rich story, right? Well, then this year, sure, he has this firework incident. So it's just like one chapter after the other, and we haven't even mentioned what an incredible athlete and player this guy is. Black and uh, kicks against the Cowboys back there in that Super Bowl season as the Giants fought to get back in the playoffs. I mean, he's an incredible athlete off the field, uh, certainly adding chapters to the story as well. Is that one of your jobs to sit back and go, oh, this guy, we got to try to we got to try to do a documentary on this guy? Yeah, it's trying to figure out not just from the footage that comes through on Sundays, what happens on the field, but then what are the other parts of this guy's life? What's his background? What uh, uh, obstacles has he overcome? How can we sort of flesh out that it's uh, it's a full story that these guys live on and off the field, and especially with an older guy, kind of the three acts of his life that up, add up to these incredible, really human interest stories often um, with the with the football in the foreground at the beginning, and then it sort of becomes a, a sometimes in the background, depending on who the guy is, but also really rich. Yeah, Paul Camerata, senior producer at NFL Films with Armin and Levac in studio. Paul's from the Capital Region, so kind enough to uh, spend some time with us this evening as he's in town uh, working on a uh, current short film that we'll see in the future and paul you are also the senior editor of hard knocks and you are i guess you're going to be spending some time with the houston texans here in training camp what coming up next week that's right our uh, our guys are actually already down on the ground in houston prepping gear getting ready uh, our crews will be i think starting to roll as soon as this weekend i mean it's going to be really soon now with with training camp right around the corner and of course back in uh, at headquarters we're going through all the research we can trying to prep the storylines figure out who it is we're going to pursue, and then, of course, obviously be flexible as training camp unfolds. As we all know, as football fans, things happen on a daily basis that are that you weren't anticipating uh, that you want to be able to react to in a, in a show like this and really capture those stories and bring them out. So right now, the most fascinating story that, that you like for NFL Hard Knocks that we should expect for this season is what? I'm optimistic myself, selfishly, that we we get as much J.J. Watt as possible. Okay. But what is not interesting about this guy? From earlier this offseason, I think the first thing I remember from this offseason was he's wearing a suit and tie, and he's on Jimmy Kimmel doing that standing, leaping jump onto the table. I mean, athletically, it's just incredible. And then ever since then, whether he's been skating in the Blackhawks, I think it was, was he wearing a Blackhawks jersey? Yes. Uh, skating, playing hockey, uh, showing up at the ESPYs. He's all over the place. Incredible guy on and off the field. He was just named the number one player in the NFL by the NFL Network's Top 100 Series. Uh, definitely the best defensive player, I think we could say, and arguably the best player in all of football. So to have a guy like that uh, in our sights this year for training camp, we're all, all real excited. Is this the team you wanted? Who was the team that you wanted? There is no bad team, to be okay. honest with you, because w when, you're, when you have that intimacy with the team, you find the storylines, uh, and they, again, like I said, they emerge. Um, the characters are there, I think, already. J.J. Watt, Arian Foster, and, of course, Bill O'Brien. I think, again... People in this part of the country with his background with the Patriots and with Penn State, uh, they know he's already had a really fascinating road. In just a couple of years, the guy's got the team really on the cusp. They're 9-7 and seven last year. They're really right there. And, and with all those personalities put together, we're, it's going to be a great opportunity. And you know what's great, too? Paul Camerata in studio, senior producer at NFL Films. He's from Gilderland in the area working on a NFL short film. It's really cool uh, to have him here in studio. We've spoken several times before, but never in this studio, several times the Super Bowls and other areas. He's been at NFL Films for 13 years. You know what the greatest aspect to me is? is is that you haven't even brought up Jadavian Clowney. And, and that, to me, I'm most fascinated about him with the high expectations. We haven't even seen him. That's right. He's a guy that obviously made a big splash before he even made it into the NFL uh, and is still, I think, trying to work his way into having the impact everyone uh, was expecting him to have. Certainly the impact that he had that day against uh, Michigan was it in the bowl game. So he's going to be a guy that, you know, we're going to just have to see what happens as the training camp unfolds. And, again, to be part of this defensive line with Watt, they added Vince Wilfork. I mean, 
they could clearly be the most dominant defense in the league this year uh, if all goes well. And I think, you know, I'm sure the people in Houston are rooting for Clowney as much as anybody. 100%. Now, as we look at the NFL, it is the 50th year uh, of the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 50 coming up. You have a gold football in your hand. I talked to Adam Schefter yesterday about the NFL changing their logo and making it gold. What else can we expect, expect differently this year in the NFL? Well, this uh, gold football is part of the high school honor roll program the league is doing to honor every man and uh, head coach who has been part of the Super Bowl in the last 50 years. They're going to be sending a gold football uh, embossed with the logo of Super Bowl 50 uh, and also the name and the high school of each, of each of these guys to that guy's high school. So, for instance, Charlie Lee, who we're here in Albany to talk about this these last couple days, Albany High will be getting this gold football. Every high school in America that produced a player that played in the Super Bowl will be getting one. It's just one of the programs the league's doing this year to celebrate the game 50 years after the Super Bowl uh, was first born. Paul Camerata, senior producer at NFL Films, Gilderland native. Paul, we're proud of you, man. It's been really cool striking a friendship with you. You reached out to me when I first got here and said, hey, man, we should hang out, and we have. It's all. Thank you for giving us the behind-the-scene looks at NFL Films. How can we follow you and your work? Uh, you can follow all our great NFL content on NFL.com, NFLfilms.NFL.com, which is the blog we use uh, at NFL Films to specifically sort of tout the work that we're doing in-house. Um, I'm on Twitter at Tweed Typewriter, which is where I do some of my uh, writing outside of the, the football filmmaking I do at NFL Films. And uh, obviously NFL Network, a lot of the other network partners show our shows. NFL Films Presents is on Fox Sports 1 and the NFL Network. So uh, just check us out. NFL Films Senior Producer Paul Camerata. Paul, thanks for being here, man. Thanks, Armin. And thanks for all the support. We appreciate it. Absolutely, man. Appreciate you.